John, three points on, under the lights here at Fratton Park. What do you make of it? I think that the uh, the game overall, we, we definitely deserved to win it. And uh, there were some, I think, disappointing moments, particularly in the first half. We uh, we started OK, actually. I thought for five, ten minutes we were bright, we were lively. And then I'm, I'm not entirely sure what happened, but then we, we lost our shape and, and we lost our way a bit. And to be fair, when Cambridge scored, I thought they deserved to go ahead because of how poor we'd been. And then all of a sudden we kicked ourselves into life. So the back end of the first half, the last five minutes, and um, we carried that into the second half. Where I thought we were excellent for the entirety of the second half and, and thoroughly deserved to put two two balls into the back of the net really really pleased with that and obviously really pleased with the three points a couple of things to address I think particularly the fact that we did wait to go a goal down until we um, came to life but I suppose you can't have it all uh, we will keep pressing for for us to perform better across the 90 but overall a really good day it's another real fast start they got the goal which could be seen as quite a controversial one what effect did that have on the rest of the half uh, I, well I, I, I think that in terms of the the fact that the goal had, it did sort of kick us into kick us into gear, kick us into action. We were really poor for I think about half an hour before they scored, um, and then all of a sudden I thought, yeah, we decided, okay, um, that's enough, enough's enough. We're gonna we're gonna show up. We're we're not gonna really give Cambridge too many more openings, and I can't actually think of many other chances they had apart from set pieces. So really pleased with that but just again I know I've reiterated it it's happened a couple of times this season not too much recently because I think we've been much better at it but we just waited to go a goal down before we reacted how important was it to get that goal in the stroke of half time to go into the break with, with something it was really important just in terms of I think the atmosphere the mood and you know, clearly just drawing level was, was big for us we didn't want Cambridge to go in holding on to anything it didn't change anything that I said to the lads at half time I thought we'd, we'd been really poor anyway and uh, of course had a nice little five minute spell and actually after we got the equaliser we, we looked like we were threatening towards the back end of the first half but um, you know, I, I said to the lads that I'm, I'm sure when I, when I went into the dressing room I'm sure that they've said everything that needs to be said because I don't think they were happy with themselves either um, and to be fair they responded and played brilliantly in the second half Cassini with the goal on the stroke of half time. He came into the eleven today. What did you make of his performance overall? Well, I thought the first thing he did, first couple of things he did, he was he was electric. He looked lively. He pinned the two centre backs, and he was a real threat. And it probably, um, you know, one of our bright sparks in the first half. And he got his goal, which I think he deserved. Coming back into it, having been away with Australia for a long time, so I think it was a massive plus for us to be able to rotate the centre forwards like that. And you know, to be able to leave the the top scorer and and everything we know about Colby and how good he's been, and to be able to leave him on the bench, it was you know it was brilliant because we can rely on Cast to do exactly what he did, which was and um, put in a really good performance. I thought he was he was excellent, and um, you know that's uh, some a player I think that really deserves his goal in the end. So I'm um, really pleased with him. Miles off the mark in a blue shirt as well. A really pleasing moment for him. How much will that goal do for him? It should do a huge amount. I think Mars was um, probably disappointed with himself in the first half and, and it was much more about just getting himself in the right position. We know Mars has got a lot of quality when the ball comes into him and sometimes that's not going to come off, but the, the goal... His goal was, was really pleasing from our point of view because I think he received it in the right position. Uh, then he lays it off to Cassini and then gets himself in the box. So he put himself in the right position. Um, technically then showed that he's capable of being a good player and showed the desire to get into uh, the right position at the end of it. And that's all we need from him. In terms of important goals, I suppose you could say Abu's was up there as well because it allowed us to, to see the game out quite comfortably in the end. Yeah, it was, and it came at a really good time. And again, I think Abu's goal, similar to Mars, is probably encapsulates my frustration sometimes when we've got these players that I know are capable of such good things I want Abu to be a constant threat and get at players and I see that time and time again on the training ground and even though you know, Abs is a young lad we still have a huge amount of demand on him because we know the quality he's got we speak about it constantly and, and that's what we see so really really happy with that really happy we went 3-1 up but I, I thought it was a good sign in the second half we went 2-1 up and we kept our composure we kept trying to play we went 3-1 up we kept our composure we kept trying to play we didn't all of a sudden go direct probably one of my criticisms of us on Saturdays I thought we went a bit direct after we went a goal up and we ended up defending deep in the, in the back end of the second half and, and we just didn't have to do that today What did you make of the noise in this place tonight? I mean, right from the kickoff, it was it was massive, and the, you know the Tuesday night games here under the lights are always really really special, and hopefully uh, you know that that carries on into Saturday. I say hopefully, I know it's going to because of the position that we're in, and um, I think the enthusiasm that uh, the, the fans have got at the moment because they're seeing what the lads are trying to put in on the pitch, and uh, again. 
really happy with the fact that when we went a goal down, it was just massively positive around the place. When, to be honest, the performance probably didn't deserve that. So, um, fair play to all the fans and, and stuck around and got a good result and good performance in the second half. Something you mentioned earlier on the season was the effect the noise in the Milton End has. More supporters in there today, and it really seemed to make a difference today as well. Yeah, oh, big difference, I think, obviously, for the second game that we've had here. And Cambridge turned us round, which I think is probably a smart thing to do because us attacking the front end of the second half has produced quite a lot of goals over my time here. So I think it's made a big difference, actually. I think it does change the the way that things feel in the stadium and really felt that from, from both sides. And actually, for, you know, all round today, it was just one of those. I think it's been, a, been a, a small change, but it's had a massive effect. Tom Lowry just finally came off with an injury, a real sad moment for him, just as he's hitting some consistency in terms of minutes and performances. What's the latest with him? He felt his hamstring and I think it's a bit more than tightness, so really gutted for Tom on that one. One of those that we we did take a, a long look at and, and we thought that Tom was, was ready to, to play tonight and obviously that's something that I'll have to take on board and I take responsibility for that, but I did think he'd be ready to play. Just really, really disappointed for him because he'd been coming I mean, he'd been coming into his own, he'd come into the side, he'd done really well. I think obviously the interview before the game, we speak about how frustrated Tom's been over the, his time at Portsmouth because whenever he's played, he's been, he's been excellent, but that's not been often enough because of the injuries. And something that we'll, we'll you know, we, we definitely have looked at. We, we deliberately didn't play him against Oxford on that Saturday, Tuesday because um, of that you know, sort of managing back in. But we did think sort of six, eight weeks down the line that he'd be capable of doing it. So I'm really disappointed for him and something that I'll take responsibility for.